Hello, welcome to Drobo. My name is Eric Pounds. A few months back, we introduced you to a new Drobo technology called Data Aware Tiering that first is available on the Drobo B1200i storage array intended for small and medium business IT professionals. Data Aware Tiering is the first and only fully automated technology that allows you to utilize solid state drives, or SSDs, right alongside hard disk drives to accelerate your critical applications while still maintaining very high capacity. Now we're bringing that technology to two new Drobos uh, that are intended for personal or individual use to accelerate your own uh, applications. Let's quickly recap how data wear tiering works in the Drobo B1200i. As data comes into the Drobo, transactional IOs or small random IOs are recognized differently than large IOs or sequential IOs. The smaller random IOs are placed on the, on the solid state drives because that's what solid state drives are really good for. The large uh, bulk transfers or sequential IOs are placed on the hard disk drives because hard disk drives are really good for capacity. So now let's look at how that, this technology will work on the, uh, on the new smaller uh, Drobos that are intended for personal use. One of the big differences between these Drobos and the Drobo B1200i is there's not as many drive bays. So I'm going to use the new Drobo 5D as an example. Drobo 5D has five primary drive bays. And if you had to mix and match SSDs and hard disk drives in those five drive bays, you may not be able to get the overall capacity you'd like if you, for example, wanted to use all uh, four terabyte drives in all these drive bays. So what we did was we implemented a new type of drive bay we call it the Drobo Accelerator Bay, and it takes an SSD that is in the new industry standard MSATA form factor. MSATA drives, you'll see them commonly used in Ultrabooks or very uh, uh, portable computers because they're very small. They're about the size of a keychain. So what it allows that, us to do is to have all hard disk drives in the primary drive bays and add a little bit of flash to accelerate these more transactional or smaller IOs because a smaller I.O. is a little bit of flash goes a long way. So the way it works is a little bit of space is carved off the top of the drives. So let's just say it's just a, just a little bit. And so as writes come into the Drobo, just like with the B1200i, if those writes are small, transactional in nature, they will go onto this uh, mirrored sliver of, of, uh, of space off the top of the drives. So this space is mirrored, uh, so there's no, uh, there's no parity penalty. So if you, if you know some of the details of RAID, you know that with RAID 5 and RAID 6, they're not as good for transactional IOs because you have to create parity data. This space is mirrored, so it's very high performance for transactional data. And the bulk IOs, so the bulk data, will automatically go to the, uh, to the bulk section of drives because Drobo can treat different parts of the drive differently in the way that it sets up uh, the overall array. Now, what's really cool is in the background, uh, this data that is transactional nature and hot also will make its way to the MSATA device. So when, when the host reads data, instead of reading that transactional data off of the hard disk drives, it will read it right off of the MSATA device. So it's really fast, very high performance access to your data. Now over time, the type of data that remains hot or cold or frequently accessed uh, may change. Drobo trends the read patterns over time and will migrate data in and out of the MSATA device to ensure that the data you really need access to all the time is available there. So what this, what this gives you is it gives you a storage array that's not only good in streaming performance benchmarks like a lot of other arrays give you, but also is good in real world use cases and real world environments where you often have mixed types of data, like in a photo library, for example, where you may have a lot of large photos, but you also have a lot of thumbnails, a lot of metadata. There's a lot of lookups that happen that create this very small data that will be accelerated on your Drobo. To learn more, Go to drobo.com, you can click on the How It Works section of our website and learn a lot more about data wear tiering, other unique Drobo technologies, and the new Drobo products that support and accelerate solid state drives.